In this video, I'm going to talk about the key starting point or the foundation to any great defense in Madden. And it, we're going to be in the 46 playbook for this video or for this tip. We're going to be talking about the dollar defense, but we're going to be using this as a video that is going to transcend just talking about the dollar defense. Now, if you want to learn the entire dollar defense, make sure that you join my Patreon. It's only $10 to become a member, and it'll get you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive eBooks, including my entire defensive eBook teaching the dollar defense. What is the hallmark to any great Madden defense? Year in and year out, this principle or this tip is going to transcend and this is going to kind of give you a starting point for as you're looking for a defense through this game, as you're testing and trying to come up with your own defensive schemes, what is the starting point? What is the foundation? What are you looking for? How do you know if this formation has any chance at becoming a great defense? And the answer is simple. Does it have a good blitz? Does it have a good blitz? Now, a good blitz is a little bit subject subjective. Um, I would argue that in general, and, and a little bit of an oversimplification, but does it have a blitz that is going to give you an advantage? Let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. Let's say that we come out in the 3-4 bear, and we call the play LB Blitz 0, and we come out in the play pads Y out. You're going to notice that on this play, we are blitzing one, two, three, four, five, six players. If we blitz six players against five blockers, obviously we're going to have somebody that's going to come in free. But notice that if you count how long I had to pass, I had like five seconds to pass. Now, of course, I'm not setting anything up from the blitz, but the bottom line is now I'm just going to block the running back. If they can pick up your blitz, your, your, your uh, six-man blitz with six blockers, that doesn't necessarily give you an advantage. But let me give you an example of something that does make a lot of sense, and that is the dollar defense. For example, in dollar, one of the base plays for this defense is to run a base alignment, and we're going to play call the play DB Fire 2. And what you're going to notice is if I set this blitz up where I just simply press that slot corner and I have these incredible blitz ang angles that you can only find in DB Fire 2, you're going to notice that we're going to get consistent pressure, typically off of one edge, if not both. Typically off of one edge, if not both. And how many players, how many blitzers are we sending? Well, we're only sending five players at the quarterback. And so because we're only sending five players at the quarterback, we're having a significant net gain. Because now they have to block six players to, to block five. Um, let me give you an example. So they have to block six players to pick up five. And what this is going to also do, you see there, it didn't even pick it up. Potentially, they have to block seven players to consistently block flat five blitzers. So if we have five people blitzing, then that means just simple math that we have six players in coverage. And so if they're blocking seven players plus their quarterback is eight, that means they're only sending uh, three routes on the field. So we have six players in coverage to defend three players running routes. That is a net gain for our defense. So that is why having a really good blitz that is going to give you some type of a advantage, I think, is really, really important. And so, um, you know, Madden, you want to look through these formations and you want to find um, how are you going, you want to answer the question, how am I going to blitz? What is my base blitz? What is what is the blitz that is going to make this really good? You know, for example, you know, you might be running something like this cross three fire uh, blitz defense here. This is actually something I've been kind of tinkering with where you're putting the looper here and then you're putting this blitzer right here. And you're going to notice that this thing's going to scream off the left side a lot of times. But there are good blitzes and there are bad blitzes, in my opinion. The first blitz that I showed you is a bad blitz. Why? Because it's, it's not... Um, you, there's no advantage, right? DB Fire 2 is a great blitz because there's actually an advantage. Now, where we get into some of this, some of the real depth of this is you don't have to blitz every play, and this is important, you don't have to blitz every single play uh, for your defense to have an advantage. However, you do have to have a blitz I think, to be an effective defense. Otherwise, they're going to send five routes on you every single time, and it becomes way too easy for the offense to just dot you down the field. So by having a base blitz, what uh, what is your key blitz? Um, this is going to be very helpful. Now, another thing that I wanted to just quickly point out is that we can drop in DB Fire, we can drop this nose tackle into coverage, and a lot of times this blitz is still going to come in, as you can see right here. Something that I've also been kind of fond of doing here is we can actually drop the slot corner 
if they're not going to block a running back, we're going to drop that slot corner. And now you're see we're only sending three people, and we're screaming at them. And now they're going to have to block, right? So we're sending three people at five blockers. I can send three people at six, and they have to basically block six in this defense um, to even have a chance to pick up the running back. So we get ourselves in a situation where we can do something like this, have a potential uh, bracket on that number one receiver in the formation or that solo receiver because they have to block their running back every single time. So now they're just outmatched from a, from a, just a, a pure numbers perspective. They are completely outmatched. So find a good blitz. In my opinion, there's two key types of blitzes this year. There are these edge blitzes, which is what you see out of DB Fire, where you have this outside um, defensive end that's going to take this sharp blitz angle, and he's going to basically crash, collapse the tackle, and then you're going to come around the edge, as you can see right here. Or there's a second type of blitz, which I'm going to show you out of the nickel 3-3 formation. However, you can do this out of any formation. This is a second key concept or transcendent concept. What are the meta blitz concepts in your game? That is a big, big question, right? Um, LB Blitz 1 is an example of a meta blitz concept. Why? Because if I just walk these guys out, this is what's known as a loop blitz. We're going to put these outside linebackers on contains, and what you're going to notice is it's going to create loops and disengages over the middle of the field. I think it didn't do that for me properly right there because I was base aligned. So let me unbase align so that my alignment gets a little bit more what I would normally have. And then we'll come down here with our, our user. And so what you'll see here is we get this disengage on the right side and we get this pressure. Okay. Um, another example of a loop blitz is the Mike Blitz Zero out of the nickel 3-3 cup. You're going to notice here that I'm going to put that linebacker on a contain, and a lot of times he's going to loop and come around the edge for the sack. The step, first step to creating an effective defense in Madden is to have a great blitz. If you want to learn the rest of the dollar 3-2 defensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. For ten dollars, you're just gonna you're going to get access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. I want to thank you for watching this video. Make sure to head down and go check out the Patreon and get signed up.